The Tan War Machine is on the march. After swift victories against the Greens and Blues, they're driving the nail home. They're making their first plunge into Green territory, a bordering capital to the Tans. The Greens have a lot of manpower still and are starting to protect the territory, setting up different guerrilla ambush spots to weaken the Tans as they move through. But they've saved their true defense for the back lines, where there is a huge trench line positioned, along with all of the stationary vehicles they could muster. Due to the Tans ambush a few weeks ago, all of the Green tanks are currently out of service so they only have a few howitzers and pack guns to utilize along with their trench line. The green defensive is beginning, and if they can cut the Tan army short, they can get back on track. If they can't, the Tans will continue to push through green territory. Alrighty then guys, so why don't we get right on into this episode of Army Men Unifying Wars. The Greens are on the defensive for sure this time after multiple defeats in a row, and it is going to be brutal. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what other battles we should be doing in the future of the Army Men Unifying War, and what you think of the current Green situation. Either way guys, let's get right on into it here. Alrighty then boys, let's go in slow-mo here and press start. The Tans are going to be starting off actually with the high ground here, so that's pretty advantageous for them. Coming from this small little chapel type beat up this way. I'm hearing shots going off and I'm hearing men getting hit, but I don't really see any over here, so it must be more in the middle ground. Pretty dense woods the Tans have to go through here. Could be pretty helpful for them. Does make it so the Greens, uh, you know, can do some better camouflage and guerrilla warfare, uh, but the Tans have decent cover out here. It's not like a big no man's land or anything like that. A few of them are getting nailed by some shots though. The greens on the other hand are over here, uh, which some sort of like woodsman or like, you know, lumber yard is existing over this way. We've got a bunch of, uh, you know, tree trunks that they're using for cover. Well, these aren't tree trunks. Logs would be the proper term. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, big shot from, I'm guessing one of the tan takes, takes out all of the cover right there for him. Gotta remember, this is the army men universe. So to us, these are tiny little twigs to the army men, their entire full size tree logs that they're hiding behind, which is kind of fun to think about every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, the Greens, they've got snipers back here as well, uh, you know, supporting more of the frontline infantry through this little fence here. That actually looks so sick. Get some kills for us, buddy. Come on. The Greens got a lot of work to do in this battle, that's for sure. And taking more losses for the Blues and Greens is becoming a non-option, or the Tans, Reds, and... Uh, and purples are gonna start just straight up winning the war and end this series pretty quick. The greens and blues are not having a good time in the unifying war. Uh, looks like some more soldiers for the greens going down here. There's some small little huts over this way that they've got some more troops uh, filtered in at, but not a crazy amount of defenses out here for the greens. It looks like a bunch died over here. Yeah, I mean, this is very preliminary defenses, just basically slowing down the tans, and that they're doing that. Actually, we could go ahead and check out the tan losses right off the rip here. Okay, all right, red are tan losses. Actually, it's easier to look like this, yeah. Yellow are tan losses, red are green losses. I'd say even losses for both sides, but a solid number of tans have died on the battlefield. Um, of course, the greens don't have tanks, and so as those tan tanks come forward, they're gonna be pretty effective here. In fact, the Greens only really have small arms, uh, you know, bazookas, piots to take those tanks out, which they are very ca capable of taking these things out, but obviously you're going to want Shermans or something of your own to take them out. They do have like two or three pack guns in the trench line way back here, but that's not for quite a while here. Uh, then beyond the river, the, the Greens do have some more sort of guerrilla warfare style soldiers hiding out in various locations, ready to ambush the Tans as they come forward, but it's really just whittling them down until the Tans actually make it all the way forward. That Piat shot was so close to striking a tan tank, but completely missed out. Got a little almost tan convoy going over here. First tan tank does get taken down. There we go. Who did that? Oh, Bazooka Trooper waiting in the wings right here. Tan infantry better take care of him. And there we go. As soon as they see that thing burst into flames, they identify the target and kill him. 
with haste, <laughs> which is a very good idea because these tan tanks, while they can be manufactured very quickly by the tans because they have all of the proper resources to do that, they are the best at manufacturing in the army men land, uh, you know, they're still valuable, especially on this battlefield right now where the greens don't have any any tanks that is the beauty of those things all right we do have another bazooka trooper right here i'm wondering if he is going to be able to shoot this thing and take it out hold on this could be big take the shot man take the shot he's, he's not taking the shot he is not taking the shot just yet let's see if he pops it let's see if he pops it is he gonna do it he is not doing it at the moment this man is completely whiffing this what are you doing and he gets shot and dies oh great I'm so glad the AI knows an opportunity when it sees it, baby. That's incredible. If you look at the top left at the minimap right there, blue are the greens left alive, red are the tans. The tans are, of course, very concentrated over here, all throughout with tanks and stuff like that. And the blues, they've got one, two, two soldiers left in the lumber yard. And then uh, maybe like 30 or 40 soldiers in the city area. And then, of course, like 100 to 200 soldiers the way, way back there. Really taking advantage of the fact that they do have the best population for war in the Army Man universe. But they're going up against one of the most mechanized nations in the Army Men War universe. All right, let's bump it up a speed here. We've got some explosions going off as those tan tanks just eliminate the last remaining greens over here. It's a good plan. Just take him out oh tan tank actually takes a side shot from a bazooka trooper on the opposite side of the river there all right th these tan tanks need infantry the the infantry needs to come forward and actually start protecting these things infantry support for tanks is absolutely crucial in modern warfare or else they just get wiped out as we're seeing happen without any tan infantry helping them out so get up there tan infantry move and support your tanks you guys are the tank nation you guys should know how to support tanks we got another Piot soldier right here. All right, finally, the Tan Infantry starts to suppress. They need to kill this guy before he gets another shot off. But he gets his shot off and hits the guardrail. He's very lucky that Backsplash didn't kill him himself, uh, or else he would be, you know, mush right now. But he's reloading again. He takes another shot, um, and it looks like he does track this Tan Tank right there. All right, Tan Tank tracked. Uh, of course, we could do the repair rule a little bit later. Ah, oh, but he takes another shot before he dies. But he strikes the tan tank that was already down and just erupts it into flame. Those flames could catch on the tan tanks, but it's pretty rare for that to happen. So I have a feeling they're probably fine. Tan tanks continue to push forward, surging against the greens here and just full yeeting forward, man. I mean, they're getting kills right now. But again, there's a bazooka trooper right there. Claps it absolutely claps it tan crewman run on out there hopefully they get the kill on this guy before uh the next tan tank comes in but now they are getting mowed down exploded tan infantry is having a hard time on this bridge front right here the green gorilla warfare is really popping off right here here comes the second tan tank pushing through and that kills it as well that's what four tanks down for the tans i think they started with like 15 or so tanks so uh you know they They've lost about a third of their total tank force, but they've still got plenty more back here coming on in. The Tan Infantry needs to get to step in and actually doing something because they are not participating in the battle nearly as much as they should be. Here we go. A couple Tan tanks actually coming to the shore's edge instead of crossing the bridge right away, which is probably going to help them out a lot more. Uh, some of these buildings did have green soldiers in them, but it looks like they are getting shelled super heavily. Uh, there's still a couple more green soldiers in these windows, but uh, <laughs> judging by how the other houses did, I don't think they're going to be lasting very long, and Tan Infantry has finally come out to play and so they might just be able to strike them down with some sniper shots or something like that. There's easy ways to finish off a lone soldier. It's just a matter of if the Tans are going to do that or not or if they're going to be somewhat dumb. Here they go, pushing through. We've also got another Tan tank taking the second bridge. Oh, but another one comes straight into line of sight for the green bazooka trooper here. Okay, that might not be a kill shot. That might not be a kill shot. It's Tokyo drifting a little bit. This might crash the game if we allow those tanks to clip into each other, so I'm going to delete one. Um, but it does get killed. Actually, there's a second Bazooka Trooper in this little... Uh, I don't know, boulangerie or whatever it is, the shop front. Uh, and so he might be getting some kills as well. Tan Infantry is finally showing up to play here. 
They're going to be pushing across, hopefully, uh, and, and doing something. But for right now, the Tan Infantry has been a complete and utter disappointment. And the Tan Tanks, this is not the part of the battle where we need the Tan Tanks. The Tan Infantry can deal with this part of the battle. The part of the battle where we need the Tan Tanks is over here, where this infantry force of the Greens is going to be devastating. So that is when we need the Tan Tanks in full force. That might not be happening here because they just keep losing them. All right, here we go. Crossing on the other river side. That's a good idea. Push the infantry out. Push the infantry out. They killed that bazooka trooper. Very, very good. They killed the other green soldier. They're finally pushing across. Guerrilla warfare from the greens is definitely being effective. It's like, you know, death by a thousand cuts, whatever. Just slowly but surely killing the tan forces and getting more kills than you have soldiers. That, uh, I mean, that's really good stuff right there. We still got another three over this way with some guns firing away. And once again, we did give the greens less of the modern weapons and more of the World War II weapons uh, and, you know, rifles and things like that. Uh, uh, there are a few that have like the G36s and, and some of the more modern weapons like the C-15s and stuff like that. I'm going to delete this again because I really don't want the game to crash. There we go. Um, so, the, yeah, a few green soldiers do have those more modern weapons, but more of them have just the standard World War II weapons because they're supposed to be running out of supplies, so they have less good weapons than the Tans. All right, these guys were waiting in ambush, but only tanks rolled by, and so they weren't really able to shoot anyone, except they did kill the tank gunner uh, of one of the Tan tanks. So that's, that's at least a W right there. But here we go, three Tan tanks pushing forward. Tan infantry starts to march across the bridges here, coming in force towards the green defensive trench line. Still a ton of tans left alive across this entire battlefield. Still a lot of tan tanks. They can definitely do something here. But they took way more losses than they ever should have. All right, what is going on here? Why are you shooting backwards? I don't know why that tan tank is shooting backwards. And all of these are aiming away from the green soldiers over here. But we're going to go ahead and... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are these green soldiers? Okay, we got two green soldiers back here. We're going to go ahead and do the retreat rule. We, we got we to gotta retreat these guys back. Retreat rule! Go, 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 boys! They might be able to do it. They might be able to do it. So just run straight back. And uh, beyond that, there's no one else to use the retreat rule on. It is purely the trench defensive line here. The pack guns take out a tank early early on well done i will say that was a, a bloody good shot and they continue to pour some shots into it more tan tanks though pushing forward here uh, and using their other tank as cover a very smart idea it takes some shots uh and kills one of the crew members of the pack gun it doesn't fully wipe out the pack gun though and that thing is going to get its revenge as it continues to pour fire into this tan tank, which is just taking so much damage at this point. And the one behind it also taking damage. And it is now lighting the forest on fire. Oh my god. All right. She is gone. The, the tan tanks take a quick beating right there. They've still got a number of them back here, though, that can come forward. And the tan infantry will start to come forward as well now. Down the road here. Might as well be Carantan over this way. A couple of them are getting sniped out by the green soldiers. I mean, that's the problem, is that this trench line that the greens have got going is an infantry powerhouse. The real thing that can stop it is the tan tanks, but they decided to go in single file at a time against the green defenders here. Not very good. Not a very smart plan right there. A few of these pillboxes have had some chunks taken out of them, but for the most part, the green infantry is very much in control of this part of the battlefield, uh, and the tans have taken some substantial losses up until this point and might not really be able to make much of a comeback. This trench defensive line is so baller, bro. Look at these guys just spamming fire out there. Well done, the flames on the horizon. You, you kind of got to love to see it. It's so cool. <laughs> I love army men battles, man. Uh, and by the way, the book is still being worked on. It's completely finished writing. Um, I'm just editing it and uh, having some beta readers read it, read it for me, like my mom and Zelda. <laughs> so that way I have a, a good solid product 
uh, to release for you guys in the future. Either way, Light Green Soldiers taking some L's. Couple here and there, there's a couple dead troopers, the, the more unlucky ones. Uh, but for the most part, their wall of fire method here seems to be working very well. Let's pop it into normal speed here. And remember, Tans still have a solid chunk of soldiers. At the top left, you can see the mini map. Red are Tans, blue are Greens. The Tans are coming forward with a very strong force right now through the woods right here. And they are spamming out fire. They are losing more soldiers than they're killing currently, which is never a very good thing. Not usually a good sign. And those howitzers back here for the greens might also end up getting a few kills here and there too. So the tans right now are having a tough time. I will say if the greens do win this battle, more likely than not, they are not going to be able to launch any assaults next time. Uh, they're probably still going to be in defense mode, but getting a win here will definitely give them some profit. You know, they're going to have a chance to actually resupply their troops. They're actually going to be able to hold a line for more than one battle, one episode. Uh, so that'll be a pretty big deal for the Greens if they do win this. I'm not entirely sure because another tank is coming forward right now, spamming out some MG fire. It takes some hits from those pack guns and maybe some bazookas, but it's still moving. But there we go. Final pack gun hit right there. Ends up taking it out. They were not able to kill this thing or this thing over here. So both of them are still alive right now. More tan tanks though, pushing through. The Tans are not about to stop this assault just yet. They are fully committing to it, and that's what we like to see. We don't like to see the trickle in. We don't like to see them dwindling out on just, you know, a burning flame. We like to see the full-scale assault. You can see two Tan Shermans in the back there firing their machine guns. Honestly, if I were in control of this battle, I would stop them right there out of range of any bazookas or piots and i would just have them firing and acting almost as artillery instead of pushing them forward stay out of range of enemy guns use them where you can and then eventually when you kill enough troopers start pushing them all the way forward that would be my best strategy i will say this pack gun is down now that's well done and this one over here also down so now the greens are going to be relying on howitzers I'm not entirely sure these things are going to be capable of killing Shermans. Maybe? Maybe an engine shot they could, but beyond that, I'm not entirely sure that they're capable. Um, but there are still tons of green bazookas alive, and those most certainly will be capable of killing those tan tanks. Tons of tan tanks still at the front lines here, and they're surviving much longer than their predecessors, which is a good sign, but another one is balling up into flames right there. Was that one already dead? I can't remember exactly. I honestly don't know. Tan infantry seems a little bit more non-existent now. A lot of them have died at the front lines, but I know, you know what? There's still a lot back here. Oh my god, there was a slaughterhouse over here. That might have been the howitzers doing. I'm not entirely sure. There's like a small little hill here that the Tans have to push over. It seems to be working for the Greens quite nicely. Tan Tank pushes way too far off to the right with zero infantry support and gets slammed by bazooka shots. That driver is an idiot. What a, what a bad maneuver right there. Not very smart. Green front line here is definitely taking some serious losses at this point. They're not doing super duper hot. They have definitely definitely taking a step back in this battle but the back lines are still doing pretty great oh wait howitzer down here this one's half down okay maybe not i thought there was almost no losses back here but no losses are starting to mount a little bit more but the tans i mean they're balled up over here pretty solidly but beyond that they're not doing too hot there's a bunch of stragglers we can push forward here for the tans just do the anti-derp rule and send them forward um, and then we'll check in on if we can do anything for the greens as well. Um, this tan tank just never came. Is it broken? No, it can... is, it, is it stuck? I don't understand. There's nothing there. What is wrong with you? What the? It just teleported? Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> I don't know what its deal is, but apparently it's not the brightest tank. The driver failed grade school. Okay. This one's stuck on the bridge, so we'll redo that. Anti-derp rule, anti-derp rule. All right, well, that is most of the tan stragglers sort of coming forward here. There's a couple more we'll push up, but beyond that, the tans should now have the rest of their forces coming forward, um, and I don't think there's any repair rule tanks we can do. Oh, well, this one. No, it's still alive. Just push it out a little bit. There you go. 
All right, so the rest of the tan should be coming forward. The green's still holding the current front line of tans back very, very nicely. I mean, it's just constant spam fire from the greens. I wouldn't ask for anything else if I were their commander. As long as they're not getting suppressed, they can win this battle. That is really the mindset I would be having if I was the green commander in this thing. As long as you're not suppressed, you're in this thing, you're fighting, you can win. That's the big deal of it. That is the big, big deal of it. Your men ahead, they died valiantly. Don't let their deaths go to waste. Continue to fight. All right, this tan tank is going to delete a lot of the dead bodies in the woods here. So that's going to be kind of sad to see for the statistical end. But uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to interfere with where it wants to move. If it wants to go through that way and delete a bunch of bodies, be my guest. But you better get some kills from it. All right, tan tank. You better do something with that. All right, it's pushing up. It might get shot here. And... Oh, yeah. Way to go, green bazooka troopers, man. They're killing it, creating quite the tan tank graveyard here. Woo-wee. First definite major loss for the tans in this entire series. I mean, well, if they lose. There's still quite a number of soldiers coming forward, as we can see right now. These, these, these guys have some piots with them. They just need to get some shots off, man. They're just not. They're just not. Oh, my God. <laughs> not at all. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, greens could still technically lose this. But from what we're seeing right now, I will say, I, I think they will end up winning this thing. I don't think they, uh, they're they going to capitulate at this point in the, in the game. I think they got this. I, I really, really do. Um, but the Tans up until this point really haven't had any sort of major defeat. The only nation in that alliance, the Tan Red Purple Alliance, which I don't even know what we should name that alliance. Comment down below name suggestions for that alliance. Um, we should name the, the Green and Blue Alliance the Glue Alliance. Oh, that's good. The Glue Alliance, or the Elmer's Alliance, because it's like Elmer Glue, I don't know. Um, but the, the Tan, Purple, and Red Alliance, um, up until this point, the, the only real ally in that alliance that's taken severe losses has been the Purples. Beyond that, the Blue, or the Tans and the Reds have been doing extraordinarily well. All right, the Tans do have a solid force left alive. We'll bring more of the stragglers forward, because clearly there's quite a number of stragglers still. Um, they've got one last tank coming through here. It's got two infantry kills. I mean, it's been backlining almost this entire battle, so I didn't really expect it to have a crazy amount of kills or anything like that. Um, but it's going for the far right flank yet again. Is it getting hit? What's going on here? It is getting hit. It's getting hit. All right, it's starting to machine gun, though. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's probably the deciding shot right there. Oh, no, it's still firing. I kind of thought that would have killed it. Might have gotten a few more kills here, but overall, it's not doing too hot. There you go, pushes forward. Yeah, look how damaged it is, and yet it's still going. My goodness, tan manufacturing is absolutely nuts. Is it dead? It's dead. I think, I think the crew members might have died, guys. I don't know, just a hunch, but they might have died. Um, all right, well, the tans now are seriously depleted in their, their soldiers here. They've got maybe like 50 or so left. The greens have probably like 100 soldiers left, maybe, from their 200 that they had on the uh, line here. So I think the Tans are just going to be suiciding forward bit by bit here. Not really capable of doing all that much. Yeah, there's a few troops back here. And randomly they are getting sniped out. I mean, they're firing a little bit here too, so maybe they're able to get a couple kills here and there, but for the most part, I think they are going to lose this battle. I, there's almost no chance that they end up winning this thing. Yeah, no, sir. <laughs> I think the greens have it. I think the green mega trench line ended up working out. Now, what I'm thinking for the next battle on the green front over here is the tans have successfully taken the city. So maybe next time around, the tans go ahead and set up their army in the city this time and push the trench line full force with everything they have. Maybe the greens get some more reinforcements. Maybe the greens get a few tanks this time because they're actually able to resupply uh, since the greens or the tans will need some time to get their additional forces up. So the greens can make some opportunities out of that time. Um, but I'm thinking with the tans forcing down mid here, 
uh, without having to deal with all the guerrilla warfare, they might be able to topple this trench line. So let me know if you guys think that's what we should do in the next episode, um, or should we return back to the Blue Isles and see what happens there, and then return back to this battle, or should the Greens retreat from this position and fall back to a fortress or something like that and take this victory as it is and not try and hold here? Um, I don't know, or should the Tans go into defense mode? Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but it's pretty clear that the Greens are winning this, so let's go ahead and time-lapse the very ending here, uh, since it's just some scattered infantry fighting. Well, I would say that is a green victory. Uh, there is about uh, a squad of tans left. We're gonna run them away. Run away, boys. This tank just never went anywhere. I don't know why. Oh, now it's unstuck. It was stuck there in limbo for forever, but we'll leave the squad of tans and the tank behind to establish defenses at the city before the rest of the reinforcements come. And then the greens here are going to have, of course, an opportunity to rebuild. Greens uh, are in red here for their deaths. Yellow are tans. Wow. A lot of dead tans. I mean, some, yeah, some serious dead greens too. The, the guerrilla warfare was pretty cool, I will say. Um, but then here was where the greens really shined. And uh, I think the guerrilla warfare really did help them by taking out those tanks, taking out... Maybe like a hundred tans? I mean, that's helpful. Maybe that would have been enough to take over the green uh, infantry in the back. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, guys, that is going to be about it for today's episode of the Army Men Unifying War. If you guys do enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future and what you think should have happen in the next episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.